As I was preparing uh, notes, slides, videos for teaching this class, and thinking about different health issues that a lot of women have when they're pregnant, and then preparing the health uh, so, that, so that hopefully they won't have the issues, I realized that I've come a long way in my beliefs and what I've seen with the women over the last 40 years. I realize that if we can come in and just do general, general balancing of health, in particular with adaptogens, I see most issues clearing up and then it becoming easier to get pregnant, easier to carry the birth, baby to term. There's, yeah, there's always going to be uh, special instances that we might have to be more careful of. In particular, if we've had someone maybe that's had a miscarriage before, but the fact remains the same. We strengthen the foundation of our body and our body knows what to do. We listen to our body, it knows what to do, just like whenever it's time to go into labor. Many of you know at this point we're waiting. It could be any day now that we become grandparents for the ninth time. It's pretty exciting. And to see the difference in this daughter with this pregnancy, where we've been able to load her up with so many adaptogens compared to her previous pregnancy, where she, she didn't have that option. You know, I did all the things that I always knew how to do, you know, using alfalfa, red raspberry leaf, our, our omega 3s, things like that. There's a big difference with having adaptogens before going into a pregnancy. So what are adaptogens gonna do? It's going to normalize the glandular, the endocrine system into how it functions. So if we've got someone that's dealing with blood sugar issues, maybe an un which is often an underlying condition for PCOS, we balance that out, guess what? It becomes a whole lot easier to get pregnant. Oh, and they feel better in the meantime. Let's say we've got an issue like I did with ovarian cysts or endometriosis. Normalize, balance, get those adaptogens in there. I have so many things that were health issues before that are just gone. And you know what? One of the biggest things that I see for women now, they are under so much stress that their body doesn't have the energy or the ability or, or even the desire to get pregnant. So when we come in and address stress, and those underlying issues, guess what? It's not often, or it's fairly common, I should say. I get the phone call where I've got this woman going, you know, I was taking this adaptogen for my allergies and some other issues, and and I, and some things are changed. Do you think I've you know, got you know, such and such going on, need more of this? And I'm sitting there thinking, I thought, no, nope, you're pregnant, honey, you're pregnant. I can't count how many times that next day or that evening I get a text or a phone call. Did you know I was pregnant? Yeah, I knew you were pregnant. We got the body balanced and it does what it does. And all of a sudden, your body can handle being pregnant. I'm excited. Um, at the very end of this course, there will be a uh, file with my different suggestions and recommendations that you'll be able to print out along with another file with all kinds of testimonies from people that have used adaptogens to have healthier pregnancies. Um, some of the ways we've used essential oil blends for labor and delivery or um, unusual uh, conditions. So um, I'm excited to share with you guys. Hope you find this beneficial.